All right, so the goal here is to look at the graphical modeler that's built into QGIS. So if you're an ArcGIS user, you might be familiar with or have used the model builder tool. So this is basically like a non-code based or like graphical coding method that allows you to create a, a, a model or a process you, by combining a bunch of tools and like a graphical interface. Um, so it's kind of like a middle ground between using the tools individually and doing like Python scripting. Um, all right, so we're going to look at that, and uh, just to, before we start, I'm going to describe the problem they were actually trying to solve in this case. Okay, so I have this uh, line here that represents a proposed highway, and then I have also these uh, wetland features, which are from the National Wetland Inventory. Let's notice here I had a selection, so I'm going to do a clear selection there. Okay, so if we open up the attribute table for this layer... Uh, we can see that there's a large number of features and there's, they're also differentiated into types. So what we like to do is find the land area of palustrian wetlands specifically that, that would be impacted by the proposed highway development based on a distance from that, that highway. Um, so palustrian wetlands are going to include things such as palustrian open water, palustrian emergent, palustrian forested, palustrian shrub scrub. Um, so we're going to select those out and just look at those exam or those types. Okay, so to start off with, we just go up here to Processing and then Graphical Modeler. And then we can start building out our process. So before we start, let's just look at some of the tools. So you can open a model, save models, save a project. These are tools for zooming around the, the window here. Um, you can export to a Python script, a raster image, a PDF, a vector graphic. You can edit the um, help information for your tool and then running the tool. And then in this area, we have um, input options, so input variables, and then the list of algorithms that you can use. And note these are the QGIS algorithms and also the plugins, so like GDAL and GRASS and Saga. Okay, so before we start, let's actually let's save our model. So first we got to give it a name. I'm going to call this one uh, wetland underscore, well, I don't think we need this name, we don't need underscore, so wetland assessment tool. Okay, and then we'll go to save, and Node is going to try to save into this default uh, models uh, tool, uh, folder. What I'm going to do is just save it to uh, my teaching folder here, since that's uh, what this is just teaching demo. So I know I've done this a few other times, so I'm just going to change the name on the end, or the letter, uh, the differentiated. Um, and this is a .model3 file which is the file format for models for QGIS for this specific build. Note that you don't have to save these into like a toolbox like you do with an ArcGIS uh, model. Okay, so let's do that and we'll hit save. This will generate our new model. It tells us it was saved there. All right, so let's start building this out. So first we're going to need some inputs. So we're going to need to input the highways. So from our input list, we're going to grab a vector layer because that's what that would be. And we can give it a name, we we'll call it Proposed Highway. And we're going to say that it has to be aligned and that it's mandatory. So that looks good, so we'll hit OK there. And now we have an input. Uh, we'll add a second input here, we'll call it Wetlands. And we'll make it be the polygon and also mandatory. And then we'd also like the user to be able to set the buffer distance. So to do that, we're going to have a, a number variable. Um, so we'll call that buffer distance. And we'll, it could be float or integer. We'll leave it at float. Um, you can set min max for allowed values and a default. We'll set the default to 1,000. So it'll be in the map units, which is meters. So that would be like 1,000 meters or 1 kilometer. And we'll make that mandatory. OK, so those are our inputs. Um, next, we're going to input our, um, uh, let's see here, we're going to need to buffer the highway. So I'm going to switch to algorithms now, and we'll find buffer. There should be a couple of those. We'll just grab the one from the vector geometry QJS toolbox there. So we'll drag that in. Uh, we can change the name if you want. We really don't need to in this case. Uh, you can pick what your input will be. It'll be our proposed highway. And instead of setting a number, 
we're going to set it to model input and then it'll list the model inputs that are valid there it's the only one that's valid is this number um, input so we'll leave a set to that and i'm just going to bump up the number of segments so it's a little bit more refined and that should be fine so let's hit ok okay so now we have um, our um, connections made so our input layer our buffer distance and that creates an output Note that I didn't name the output. You can down here at the bottom because it's just an intermediate and we don't really want to save it. Okay, so that's the buffer. And now um, we want to do a selection on the wetlands to just get out the palustrian type. So I'm going to use um, extract by, yeah, uh, let's see here. Yeah, extract by attribute. So we'll pull that over. And the input for this now is going to be the wetlands. And the selection attribute is going to be the wetland type. So wet underscore types, so that's the field name there. Uh, the operator, we'll just grab from the list here. We'll just do begins with, and then it has to begin with a P. And I'm pretty sure you don't put that in quotes in this case. So we'll extract out any wetland type that begins with P, which in this case should be all the palustrian types. And it'll, it'll do um, extracted and uh, non-matching. So it kind of like break the data set into two pieces. Um, and again, these are intermediate, intermediate, so we don't need to save those out. So that looks good. Now, if you're not sure, like, um, if you're not sure what the field name is, you always go over here and check. Oh, um, open up the attribute table. So yeah, it's wet type, so, so yeah, it's got to match. Okay, so then we'll pull up our model again here. So we have extracted out our palustrian wetlands and buffered our highways. So the next step would be to clip out or intersect. Um, either would work, so I'm just going to do a clip. So we'll pull in clip, and what we want to clip out is the extracted, value, the extracted features, um, and then we want to clip out relative to the road buffer. And again, this is going to be another intermediate, so we won't name the output. Hit OK there, so that should be our clip. Uh, next thing we want to do is calculate um, the area again, because uh, we might, uh, because we're clipping features, the areas may be incorrect. So we'll do a vector table here, and then we want to do a field calculator. Field calculator. So we'll pull that in. And our input there is going to be our result from the clip. Um, the field name, we'll do new area. And the field type, we'll leave it at value and then set it to float. And the length precision should be fine. And then down here at the bottom, we've got to create an expression to actually do the calculation. So um, we'll, do, we'll look into geometry here. Grab the area, and this is going to be in the map units, which is square meters. Let's get the area, though, in hect hectares instead. So we'll just multiply that by 0 0.0001. So that should spit back the area in hectares as opposed to square meters. And then we'll click OK there. And that looks good. So we got our formula, correct inputs, new name. And we'll hit OK. All right, so that's that. Now we should just have to do one more step, and that is just the summarize, because what we really want is just the total area. So there should be a summarize. Uh, ba here we go, basic statistics for fields. That'll do it. So we'll pull this in. And we want to make this calculation from our field calculator output. And we want to do our calculation calculations on the new area field and we'll just let it spit back all the statistics and since this is our final we want to name it so we'll call it um, wetland assessment report I don't I'm not sure if you have spaces I'm just gonna remove the spaces there so wetland assessment report and then hit OK there we go alright so that looks like um, that looks good to me. Let's save it. 
it's probably good to just double check everything. So just real quick, um, correct input, set the buffer distance with the parameter there. So that looks okay. For the attributes, you know, make sure the field name's correct and the um, the uh, you know the selection is correct. That looks okay. That looks okay. And then, yep. Okay, it looks good. Hopefully it'll run correctly. So again, we'll save, and then we should be ready to run it. So I'm gonna hit this Run button, and that pulls up the window, and now you can set your input parameters. So the proposed highway is gonna be the highway. And notice it's just grabbing that from the layers list over here, but you could grab it from a, another, another file. Um, and then the wetlands here is already set, but again, it's just grabbing it from over here. And then we can name our output. So I'm going to save it to a file, and we'll just dump it on our. Um, um, we'll just dump it on our desktop here. So I did this a few other times, so I'm just changing the number at the end there. And now it's going to save an HTML file, so like a web file. So it's like a web-based report. Okay, so that looks good. So now I'm going to hit run. Okay, and if you go to the log, you should see what ha you know, the, the model process there. Um, you can see if there's any warnings or error messages. Looks like it ran. So this is our new output. So I'm going to click on that and see what we got. Oop, I have to close out of this first. There we go. All right, so um, this is our report. So um, what we are looking for is just the total area. So it looks like there was a total area of 413 hectares of land that are wetlands that uh, could be that were within one or palustrian wetlands that were within one kilometer of that proposed highway and then could be potentially impacted. And again, that's just an HTML file. Okay, so that's how you generate a simple model. Um, it, using the graphical modeler um, in QGIS.